like that. What we are now talking about hybrid electrode materials. Jaroslav Kulicek will present on that in, in his presentation. And let's see, we have two more tries, the second last talk before lunch um, for a quick handover and start of the presentation. So Jaroslav, I hope you can start in a second with your presentation. Okay. <laughs> so I will speak about the hybrids uh, nanocomposites, which uh, are used in the preparation of counter electrodes. Uh, the main goal is to replace uh, counter, uh, platinum counter electrode in dice sensitized solar cells for the low cost alternative materials and for this uh, and uh, for uh, we choose uh, the nanocomposite uh, based on the polypyrrol and uh, carbon nanotubes are chosen for this uh, us as this material uh, this material is prepared <laughs> this nanocomposite is prepared by two methods and this method I will compare in my talk uh, first method is chemical oxidative polymerization of pyrrole in presence of carbon nanotubes. Um, and this, is, uh, this uh, polymerization is combined by uh, Dr. Bled method, printing method. Uh, so we prepared uh, three samples with uh, different ratio of uh, polypyrrole and carbon nanotubes. 50, 50, 70, 30, and 90, 10. And we use two surfactants. Uh, first one is uh, dodecyl benzene sulfonic acid. It's anionic surfactant. And second one, it's uh, cationic surfactant. It's acetyl free methyl ammonium bromide. The final product of this polymerization is powder. And this powder is dispersed in alcohol and it's uh, imprinted on the FTO glass. Here you can see the typical mechanism of uh, pyrrole poly polymerization. And uh, these prepared nanocomposites are investigated by uh, SEM. Here you can see the typical uh, image of uh, polypyrrole. Here is the image of uh, carbon nanotubes. And here you can see the typical mor morphology of uh, prepared nanocomposites. The presence of uh, uh, polypyrrole in prepared nanocomposites are detected by XPS uh, by detection of uh, nitrogen, a mode of nitrogen. And uh, then we uh, measured the catalytic activity of prepared samples. And uh, as you can see, uh, the sample, sample where was uh, a ratio polypyrrole carbon nanotube 70 30 shows the uh, best catalytic activity. This sample is stable and uh, this sample is uh, shown a lower, uh, lower uh, resistivity than uh, platinum. And uh, finally we measured the efficiency of uh, these nanomaterials, uh, polypyrrole uh, multivolt carbon nanotubes counter electrode, and uh, uh, sample with ratio 70 30 shows the highest, uh, obtained the highest uh, efficiency compared to another samples. Uh, then uh, we uh, uh, we try, uh, try to work with electrochemical pol pol polymerization and uh, of pyrrole on, uh, pyro on onto uh, FTO glass. In uh, this case, we use uh, the best ratio of polypyrrole multi-carbon nanotubes, uh, which was in the pre previous work. And this was also combined by uh, Dr. Dr. Bled method. Uh, first, uh, the carbon nanotubes are imprinted on the FTO glass. Then we prepared solutions and uh, electrodeposite on FTO glass. In this case, we use three surfactants. Uh, first, one, uh, first one was uh, sodium dodecyl benzyl uh, sulfonate salt. 
it's anionic. Second one uh, was uh, cetyl free methyl ammonium bromide, it's cationic, and the last one was twin 20, it's non ionic surfactant. Uh, the polymerization, uh, the FTO uh, glass with, uh, with or without uh, multiple carbon nanotubes are used as a work electrode in this polymerization. Uh, after preparation, we measured the catalytic activity and uh, sample with uh, anionic surfactant and uh, carbon nanotubes shows the best catalytic activity. This uh, sample is stable and uh, uh, show the low, low uh, resistivity compared to the another samples. Also, this, uh, this sample with anionic surfactant uh, obtained the highest efficiency compared to the another pre prepared samples. Uh, on the end, I can, I can conclude that in the first case where we use, uh, where we combine the chemical oxidative polymerization and the uh, Dr. Bled method, the best result shown sample where was ratio polypyrrole multiple carbon nanotube 70-30. In the second uh, case where we combine electrochemical poly polymerization and uh, uh, Dr. Bled method, the, show, uh, the best result shown uh, sample where, uh, where uh, was used uh, anionic surfactant with carbon nanotubes. Uh, the, the, uh, the general conclusion is that the, bet, uh, the uh, samples prepared by chemical oxidative polymerizations shows better results uh, than uh, samples prepared by electrochemical polymerization. So in th this moment, we need to optimize this electrochemical preparation. So thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Yaroslav. Are there questions? Yep, I can see one. <laughs> Probably for, for the people tuning in, I think they need the microphone. Uh, regarding, me, uh, regarding the morphology, have you checked uh, if you have relayed a volume composite or how deep does it penetrate the polypyrrole into the uh, carbon nanotube network? And second related question is, have you uh, investigated the oxidation state of the polypyrrole in the two cases? This, because this may affect the, the performance. Okay. In the first, ca uh, first question, uh, I think we are, we are able to... Uh, <coughs> check the, the volume of polypyrrole in uh, morphology. Uh, one of uh, these methods is XPS method because it's quant quantitative method. And uh, for the second question, uh, polypyrrole is stable, but uh, it, uh, it's, we know uh, this for our previously work where uh, we uh, uh, f uh, follow the stability of uh, polypyrrole uh, uh, during the uh, some uh, during the laboratory uh, uh, temperature or heating or uh, long, long term. Okay. Well. Okay. Let's did you, did you try some other electrolytes? Uh, platinum works well for iodide, but actually not so well for cobalt and copper, so it could be interesting to try these electrolytes. Um, no, no, we don't try. Okay, that uh, would be worth a try. Okay. okay, let's thank Jaroslav again for his presentation.